All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to another great episode on your favorite political talk show, The Truth with Ben Jokes. Now, the last nine years has been hell for the common man in Nigeria. Yes, we had our issues during the 16 years of PDP, but as soon as these APC guys came in, what the nation has experienced can best be described as a disaster. Not only have they destroyed the nation's economy, they have also bought over our institutions. The police, judiciary, ETC are all but arms of the APC. And Nigerians are tired and frustrated. Poverty on one hand, hopelessness on the other hand. A country of plenty, yet only a few destroying it. And few hours ago, Tinubu came out and gave a speech Many Nigerians consider this speech a challenge to them to take back their country. Tinubu told Nigerians to stop cursing the country. He said, if the leader is bad, you should wait till the next election to get him out of office. And this is not the first time he's saying this. This is the same thing he told the NLC during their last warning strike. He said they should wait till 2027 to get him out of office if they want power. And Nigeria said that that statement signifies that he has perfected his plans to rig in 2027. Before I show you that video and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you this update. Now, we all know how Peter Obi cleared the arrears of pensions in Anambra State when he was governor. Alex Oti has done the same thing in Abia State. Look at the reports. Some of your pensions have been owed since 2014. By the end of today, all of you will smile. Check your accounts. Dr. Alex Oti on the 28th of March, 2024. Since yesterday, it's been raining credit alerts as people are receiving 1.5 million, some seeing 700,000 naira. Some are getting 900,000 naira of pensions owed since 2014. The legacy Alex Oti is building in Abia State is untouchable. Mm. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet by Silver Blue says, Alex Oti is a good leader. And Mr. Obedient here says, I am overjoyed to hear this. Mm. And this tweet here says, wow, I called my mom immediately I saw this tweet. She was grinning all through the call. She got a lot of, God bless you, Alex Oti, immensely. Mm. And this tweet by man like Josh, most of those elderly people should go and check their blood pressure. It must have become normal. A lot now your mates. Heavy alert for that matter. Oh, and Gwemisola here says, Abia State people, I rejoice with you. God came through for you guys with Alex Oti. Mm. And this tweet by Ehi says, God bless you, sir. May it be well with you and your family. Thank you for making those pensioners smile again. God bless you, Alex Oti. Now, this is what we call purposeful leadership. I clearly remember Alex Oti talking about paying pension arrears sometime last year and here he is keeping to his words. You can see the difference that one man, just one man can make. This is the kind of leadership we need at the national level. But let us remember that the people of Abia State fought for this. They didn't just vote for Alex Oti, they fought and defended their votes. And that is what Nigerians must do to crown the man whose heart beats for the people at the national level and let us not forget to honor the great professor Nena, the vc of federal university of technology where futo this woman played a pivotal role in ensuring that dr alex oti became the executive governor of abia state she rejected bribes in billions and stood against a lot of intimidation to make sure that the result the original result was not changed Thank you so much, Professor Nena. Now, let us look at what Tinubu said to Nigerians in that video. See the video. Yes, this leader is bad. Fine. Wait until it's, it's time to renew his mandate and say no. But don't condemn your country. 
Don't cost Nigeria. It's a beautiful land. Land of prosperity. I just have a full belly of uh, rice, my man, everything. So before I overly digest it, <laughs> I want to say thank you once again. You heard him. He said Nigeria is a beautiful place. Well, that is to those enjoying the billions. You cannot go and tell out of school children that Nigeria is a beautiful place. Or is it someone that is in kidnappers den that you go and tell that Nigeria is a beautiful place? And those who are not wise may think that this speech means that he loves Nigeria so much. But that is not the case. How can a good leader be telling the people to go to the polls and vote him out? That is not possible. He is actually saying this because they control INEC. They control, they have corrupted the electoral system. And they know that the only way they can be kicked out of office is when the people unite against them. And they are so confident that the people will never unite because they don't have the wisdom to do so. Are the people ever going to get wise? Are they ever going to heed to these our persistent counsels that we must unite to take our country back? Well, that is left to be seen. And look at how Nigerians react and look at some of the tweet reactions. And this tweet here says, 89% of all said no to you. But what happened? You did us see Morocco, see Spain. Well, he is technically saying that 89% should stand up to him next time. If he tries to rig, they should stand up to him. And Edwin Adewale here says, does election count in Nigeria? If INEC military police are independent, people at the helm of affairs won't be able to rig elections. Our electoral system is too bad. Well, the man is saying if the electoral system is bad, then the people should stand up and correct it. And this tweet here says, because he knows in 2027, he can easily rig himself in again. Mm. This tweet here says, what a mentality. What about resigning? Impeachment. What about the people's struggle? Why should they have to wait another four years? Criminality at its highest form. These ones don't care about all that. I see this as a challenge to the people. If you know that I am not doing well enough, if you know that I'm a bad leader, then go to the polls and get me out. No matter how corrupt a person is, even if they want to buy over the whole uh, institutions, they cannot be stronger than the people. So this is about the people's inability to put their foot down and demand what they want. And this tweet here says, it is only a bad leader that will be concerned about causes. If you are doing well, it shouldn't bother you. That is it. And this tweet here says, I am not cursing Nigeria, but my cause goes to APC, its members and supporters. It shall not be well with them for bringing untold hardship to Nigerians from Buhari government to Tinubu's government. It shall not be well with you people. Wow. Well, we can cause all we want, but if we do not take actions, things will not change for the better. The political class believes that no matter how they maltreat Nigerians, after a while, the people get used to it, and that is what is happening. The price of a bag of rice moved from 9,000 to 35,000, from 35,000 to over 70,000 naira, just within eight to nine years and the people are just going about their businesses thank god for a governor like alex oti in this social media era because the political class have created and spread the impression that governance is rocket science and many are believing them you give a governor money to pay salaries he refuses to pay the salaries and he comes on air and starts trying to defend it senators and executives buy suvs worth 200 million naira, 300 million naira, and they come on air and try to defend it. What do you need a car of 200 million naira for in Nigeria of today? And worst of all, you find some poor men trying to defend them too, trying to reason with them. You budget 15 billion naira for VP's residence, 50 million naira to install one Nepal pole, 20.1 billion for Bajabi Amila alone. In this Nigeria, and you want to defend it? No. That is indefensible. But Tinubu is challenging Nigerians to get rid of him if they can. 
he is no longer trying to lie to anyone about being a good leader. He's saying, okay, I'm a bad leader. Get me out if you can. It seems like a tough challenge, but it is only looking like that because of the state of the nation because of the kind of people that we are. Ethnicity and religious bigotry, fanatism has beclouded our senses. If Nigerians can put all those things aside and put their foot down to demand a better nation, this country will turn around in no time. Are we ever going to do that? It is left to be seen. Anyway, make I leave I'm here. Make I still enter town. <laughs> Make I go get some Ogbonge political news where we'll go like. Why? Because now, because of Funa. Now I did here. So don't go away. Don't go away.